Now let's move on to the next MIDI effect plugin, the Chord Trigger. Now this plugin allows you to trigger any chord that you want simply by pressing a single key. When we open the plugin, we will see that we get two keyboards. Let me do that. Uh, let me actually make it bigger. So 175, that's fine. So the top keyboard is the input, the blue one. So the notes that we play and the bottom keyboard is the output keyboard, the notes that will be outputted, triggered. And we have single and multi modes. So let's start with the single. In single mode, you can map a single chord. So you map one chord and then every key that you press plays the chord. In its default state, every single key is already mapped to a chord and the chord is a minor 7. Now this chord quality will be triggered every time that I press a key and it will simply transpose depending on what key I play. Lots of house and EDM producers abuse that function because all the chords have the same quality and sound, it creates this effect you hear in that genre of music. Uh, so let me play it and you will see and you'll get it. That kind of effect. Now, to set up your own chord, you can press clear to raise all the trigger notes. And then just like the Arpeggiator uh, plugin, we can select our range. So let's do that. So I'm going, my lowest note is F. So I'm going from F until let's do B. So I'm going to make my range just that one. Now, anything outside that uh, region, outside that range will be unprocessed. It won't trigger a note. So let's map a chord. Now there are two ways of doing it. You can either do it on screen with your mouse or just use your keyboard. Now let's do the screen method first. I will press the learn button. I will select the trigger note, so that was F, and then map it on the output keyboard. So for, for that one, let's do the F, A, D, and a 7. And then I'm going to press learn again. So right now, with the range I set at the beginning, any of these keys that I play will give us that chord. Now let's look at the other method, but let's actually do that with the multi-mode. Now the multi-mode allows you to map as many chords as you want. For example, you can create a chord progression and then trigger it as you would in single mode. So let's try mapping some chords without touching the mouse. Also, if you want to trigger the learn button from your keyboard, you can do that by clicking on the hidden menu down here. So each number on the slider here represents a note. In my keyboard, number 41 is the note F. That is not a random number, that comes from the numbering system we use in MIDI. So for mine, I'm going to set that, you can also type it in if you want. And now every time I press my lower F, which is at the C1 octave, it will enable the learn mode. So I'm going to press F, it's going to turn the learn mode on, and then I want my, my trigger keys. Actually, I'm going to delete these. I'm going to press F for the learn mode, and let's say I want a D. That will be my trigger key. I'm going to press D, and then I have to map my a chord, so I'm going to do a D7, and then for the next one I'm going to press G to make my trigger key, and for that one let's do a G again, inversion, and then for the next one I'm going to press C, that will be my trigger note, and for the chord let's do a C minor 7, and then C sharp, that would be a C minor major 7. And once I'm done, I'm going to press F again to go out of learn mode. So now I can just play it. And since the rest of the keyboard up here does not trigger any notes, I can simply use that area of my keyboard to play single notes. So. Just like that. Now to clear the pattern, 
you either hit clear and then clear them one by one. So I'm going to have to click hit clear again and then click the next one. Or I can simply hold down option. It will change to clear all and then clear everything at once. Lastly, if you have created a chord progression, for some reason you won't transpose it, you don't have to do it all over again. You can simply select by how many semitones you won't transpose it from the chord transpose function. So let's do that one. Let's say that and that and that and that. So we've got two chords here. And let's say that I want to transpose that. I can simply go to the chord transpose function and select by how many semitones I want to transpose. Let's say six. Mind you, this is for all the trigger notes. You can't transpose just one chord. It has to be on everything. Oh, and the very last thing is you also get some presets in case you want to have a look at those. You can go here. You've got presets, presets for multi and single. And that is everything about the chord trigger plugin.